Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I am from IGS Electronics and today we're finishing off that Lens SMD drive where we're going to be looking at how to run the drive if we the run drive frequency with two control buttons and also we're looking at looking setting up this drive in multi-frequency mode and if you have missed out the last two videos where in the first video we looked at how to commission the drive and run it semi-local and in the second video, we looked at how to run the drive remote control with two wire control, three wire control, and also use the potentiometer. Both of those video links are going to be in the description below. Also, related videos, the manual you're going to need, and uh, other bits that I, I think is related and could uh, would assist you in any way. Also, all those things are going to be in the description below. And before we get started, guys, if you're looking for any of these parts for this part or any other part with tutorial in this video or anything else in industrial automations, definitely to check out our eBay page there. And there we have a ton of items in there doom that might you be looking for. And if you are not finding what you're looking for, bring us a message and we'll definitely be able to help you out and also if you are really want to sell then definitely get in touch with what you've got and things like that and then we'll come back to you with some form or not within 24 hours and so so without further ado let's get started <music> Alrighty, now that the wiring is done, and the first thing we are going to be looking at is how to control frequency with up and down buttons. And this has been a bit of a challenge because mainly that this drive is unique to any other drive I have ever done when it comes down to uh, controlling the frequency with up and down buttons, basically two button system or MLP or electronic way of doing it. Because he uses different types of contacts. So I uh, quickly show in the manual to achieve that. If you see in here, uh, when there's an up down, obviously we need to select, uh, we need to go to CE1, CE2, or CE3, which, whichever one to use. I'm using CE1 and CE3 uh, for up and down control. So you have to select one of them as a uh, eight and one of them as a nine, which basically a set point ramp up, set run down. But there is another detail right in the end, it says in here, that the contacts has to be low, both of them. That means you have to have a uh, normally close contacts with it. And plus you need to have some sort of stoppage as well, st stop, uh, stopping point for it as well, so like a trip point. And this is where we installed the e-stop, which is going on our E2. And uh, for where in the E2, we have selected a point trip set. So we basically trip the drive out every time we click the the uh, we manage to stop. So uh, the way it, the way the wiring works, I'll show you in a minute as well the the programming. I have a uh, source twenty coming to back of a uh, contact in here, and then it comes through and sort of sends the power through all the buttons. This button doesn't do anything because we we're using that in a minute for uh, for the multi frequency. But then uh, you go, uh, we've got a, a selector switch in here, which will enable the drive when it sends the source. It's gonna, when it sends the source to, it's got to be closer like that, to uh, 28, and then uh, the uh, down button is going to be to E1, and the up button is going to be to E3, and our E stop goes to E2. So pretty much that's how we are uh, wired it up. So basically, it's just send the source to it and then send through the contacts and back to the way whichever part you want to switch in here. And uh, obviously, you will need to. Um, uh, by the way, I have figured out how to get out of the menu. You literally have to go to C61. And when you press 661, it leaves the menu. Weird as hell. So, uh, there you go. If you wanted to do that, because I usually was waiting before. So, the CE, CE1, as you can see, we selected an 8. And once you start changing CE, well, one of the CE, uh, CEs put on 8 or a 9, it will quickly show you the error. The error will be basically... I've got eight, but I don't have nine. So that's pretty much what it is. And so all you need to do is, is uh, go straight to the next one and I'll, I'll put a nine in there. And uh, so, oop, and C2, I'll put a 10 in there. So that will be for my uh, my, my trip set. So uh, so yeah, so that will, that will, once you enter the both eight and a nine, the data will clear off. So you should be good to go. And uh, uh, which one was the frequency? I think it's. Uh, acceleration no that's the frequency let's change that on 250 quickly 
in acceleration let's just change that one though because i did it right dry reset again and uh into, oh, we enter that one and we change that one as well down to one second so pretty much that's what you need to do to get your uh system going again and i'll show you how to leave the menu you need to go all the way to 61 so now with that we left the menu so this is this is how it works in the principle when you uh select press the select switch the drive is a sort of in now uh, on on position so now is it says i've got no frequency so you, what you can do see with the button you can start sending and your uh how fast the buttons uh, react to it will be determined by your acceleration, the acceleration time. So you can you can change that, change your deacceleration, acceleration, they will act di react differently to the buttons. Okay, so so and when you uh, turn it off, it will turn off and it will keep the last frequency it was uh, saved at. So, uh, and if you click the e-stop, uh, it will go to error, but when you release it, you will need to release and then you'll be able to go and go again. So that's a good way of controlling your uh, uh, e-stop. So make sure the system does not restart uh, with the uh, uh, automatically as soon as you release the e-stop. So uh, that will be it help uh, for uh, two-wire control. So let's get to how to set up the multi-frequency. And as for the multi-frequency, we need to make some changes. So what we did already, we're gonna be using exactly the same station. Is just what we did in here. We have a uh, slot back to normally open contact, so uh, we are able to select the switching of the frequency. I'll talk that in a minute how that switching works. Uh, the first things what we need to do, we need to uh, change the uh, CEs, uh, CE1 and CE3. We're going to still keep the E stop for the CE2. So I'll show you in a minute what happens when you receive. If we go down, if you so the multi frequency is uh, for the frequency one. That will be a uh, one. And as you can see, the CFG pops up on the screen. So means that that's what I said before. What happens when, when one of the eight or a nine uh, is not no longer part of any of the E's. So it's pretty much dro drops that uh, error on it. So don't worry about it. So that was just, we're just gonna change that one to two. The error will need to be reset. And uh, then we're gonna go uh, to 61. You can see that the error is down there, and then if you still maintain the same same uh, same uh, station, it's just uh, and reset the, the whole uh, error, and the error will be pretty much uh, gone. And when it comes down to setting up your frequencies, they are in C C thirty seven. Just forgot about for a second. So in C thirty seven, it will be your frequency one. Oh. Overshot like crazy. So uh, C37, I have put in six frequencies. C38, I have put 20 frequency. And C39, I put in a uh, uh, 40. Uh, 41. And uh, as it, let's just go back to that. And as it comes down to the wiring, it's pretty much the same as I said before. So uh, it will. Uh, just from the back again send to uh, the to, to program to just wires pretty everywhere so uh yeah the the, the no contact comes in and these two is basically the the contact from uh frequency one and frequency two sent into whichever inputs you have programmed and the only thing is now left to do is to try out. And the first thing we need to do, we need to activate it. So remember that uh, from uh, previous, what we just checked out. So the uh, selector switch is sort of activating the, the the drive ready to go. And then you just need to select what frequency you are doing. See, that one's on the six, that one's on 20. And the third frequency, and you have to push these two together, okay? So uh, this, unfortunately with this drive, you can only do three frequencies. And by the way, you can use that for the jog as well. You can have three different types of jogs, things like that. But usually you would have some sort of a selector switch, one, two, and three on it. But the reason I'm using the button so I can more or less better demonstrate what, how does it work. So frequency one, frequency two, and frequency three. And again, if you click that, 
your e-stop will uh, shut everything down even if it's clicked and then you just have to reset it and then uh, go back on it so let's see what happens when frequency stays on so we shut it down reset put it on so yeah if that is been if the frequency ooh, if the frequency stays on uh, on a selector switch it will go straight to that frequency even if even in the in uh, control when when the e-stop is uh, reset and uh, select switch where uh, uh, drives are get activated again so that will be it ladies and gentlemen for a, uh, a mop or electronic way or whichever to push button uh, frequency control and also multi-frequency control hopefully this is helping you out to get where you want to get uh, this drive was uh, absolutely fun working with it was it was different than another drive so uh, especially when it came down to up and down frequency control it was fun so uh and uh definitely enjoy working with it so other than that uh if you like the video definitely please smash that like if you didn't smash that dislike and uh let us know in the comments below what you like what you don't like and uh thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video